Fresh off my last video, where I had some fun slaying fuelings with the porcupine, I wanted to do a similar test with the Frostner, aka Frosty. I realized in the porcupine video that I really didn't like the knockback that I was getting when compared to swords. I found it helpful for crowd control, yes, but really difficult to get a good three hit combo in there to maximize damage and kill things fast. But with the porcupine, enemies get knocked back, but they're able to run right back up to you immediately. The Frostner, however, should be different. The frost slowing effect should keep enemies at bay, slowed down, and away from you for longer. So let's give this a shot. Let's see if the Frostner truly is the superior crowd control club. And let's just have some fun slaying fuelings, right? There should be no problems with that. It wasn't that difficult with the porcupine, so how different could it be with Frosty? Right? This test of the Frostner, I guess I could call it, started off pretty great. I just had a few fuelings here. I was able to just capture a few from the village. They just, you know, no problem. These guys were a little bit squirrely, but the slowing effect was working great. Even though I had a one star, even though I didn't have my shield out, which as you see, I decided to bring the tower shield. A commenter on the previous video actually kind of recommended it. It might be a good option for crowd control because it does have a massive knockback. Plus that with the clubs, you know, should be helpful. But you know, these guys, they were surrounding me. <laughs> oh yeah, right here. Um, <laughs> the food I ordered arrived, so let's get back to it. Uh, these fuelings weren't that big of a deal. The frost effect was slowing them nicely, and it was an awesome little battle right here. Fuelings are always running around and trying to surround me, and they were doing a pretty good job. But with the slowing effect of the Frostner, I was pretty easily able to take these guys out. This left me pretty confident in this weapon's abilities. If it's able to so effectively slow a mass amount of enemies, this should be a pretty awesome experiment. I think this is going to go pretty well. So I approached the village a little bit closer, and one feeling decided he could just take me on all himself. No, nope, not gonna happen. Then this fire boy decided that he could also do the same. Well, he successfully lit me on fire, but it didn't turn out to be too much of a big deal. However, it did seem to kind of alert the whole village after this, and you see a shaman decided to put shields on everybody, and yeah. This is when chaos kind of started to ensue. I started to kind of lose control of everything because, as you see, the whole village is on to me. So I break out my tower shield and... Yeah, it it doesn't go too great. <laughs> just, I run away and I just, I cannot run fast enough. Tower shields really do make you that slow. I made it back to my body with a whole naked rescue mission, and like an idiot, I for some reason didn't think to eat before I went on this mission. Uh, I quickly grab my stuff and I throw my gear on as much as possible, but you know, thankfully that one little swipe from that fueling didn't kill me, but I, I get staggered even though I'm holding the tower shield. I know, I'm an idiot, it's because I forgot to eat. But I remedy that mistake right now, even though everybody's wanting my blood. So I just start fighting and yeah, for some reason my stamina hasn't caught up with me just yet. Uh, yeah, I decide to forego the tower shield at this point because it's making me way too slow. And yeah, I just I just went at him with the, the frosty boy and it's going pretty okay. I'm able to put some good damage in there even though I have practically no stamina. And yeah, I actually do end up, I don't know why, I just took that little risk to put a cape on because I wanted to look cool but it pays off. I end up fending off these little fuelings right here, and now time to tackle the village again. At first, it didn't seem like too big of a deal. Just a few fuelings, and yeah, we do have that shaman trying to provide support, but yeah, I just, you know, a couple swipes here, a couple hits there, it's not that bad. I like the pushback because, you know, it slows them down, it makes it so that they're not immediately surrounding me with attacks again. I do like that. It is nice for crowd control, it's, you know, it's effectively doing its job pushing everything back, slowing them down, making the battle just a little more manageable, but look out, I somehow aggro a lox, and this makes the battle significantly more difficult because, you know, lox are difficult in general, and they have a lot of health, and I just, I do not have the right weapon to handle one of these guys, because as I mentioned in the previous video, locks are pretty much immune, or they're resistant to blunt damage, which is the whole thing that Frostner has. It doesn't have the ability to really hit them very well. Now, it's only a 0.5 resistance, but that is significant when 
every swipe counts. And yeah, so I try to break out the tower shield like an idiot and I just, I put it away to run. It's kind of smart and nine health, not going great. I try to, <laughs> it just died again. Uh, naked rescue mission two, grab my gear, put it on and we're back in it. Despite me sprinting up to this shaman, I'm able to get the drop on him. That's so satisfying just killing him in one hit, but let's go ahead and take the rest of these guys out while dodging Deathskeetos. Those Deathskeetos are no longer that difficult. You just block them and you give them a good swipe. One swipe is more than enough. But look at that, we have a whole bunch of fuelings, all of them with shields, and we've got a berserker also with a shield. This is going great once again. Uh, as you'll see, I did bring the black metal round shield this time. I think it's a lot better. It only reduces your movement speed by five, not 20. So this should be a whole lot better. But as you can see, it's still kind of rough, but I'm at least able to run away, uh, at least kind of efficiently and get some health potions in, regain some health. Yes, bone masting time. It was definitely time for that. I feel no shame there. These fuelings have been getting the best of me, so it's time that I return the favor, I think. But yet, it's not there, It's not gonna come easy. And I'm on fire again, it's getting dark, I'm cold because I'm not wearing the normal cape that I'm used to, I decided to look cool and wear the blue one. This is just absolute chaos. And I know, I say absolutely, I say these words a little too much, but they're ingrained into my vocabulary and let's just roll with it. At least I have the Frostner with me. Oh look, another Lox. Another Lox decides to join the battle. <sighs> <laughs> I try to run away and these guys are, you know, separating themselves a little bit so I can take that one out. We've still got a shaman trying to kill me and yeah, everything's going great. This battle right here is definitely more than I can handle, more than I'm really capable of taking care of with the Frostner. It's, it seems to not be doing that much damage. And yeah, I know it should, it is fully upgraded, but it's just for me, it's not seeming to do that much damage. It's pushing the enemies back, it's doing a good job at slowing them down, but when you have this many enemies surrounding you and just absolutely pummeling you constantly and your fighting stamina and your fighting magic, it's just it's I am very ill-equipped and I feel like if I had like the Mistwalker or even the Krom I would do a much better job because it would do a whole lot more damage and it would take significantly fewer swipes to kill these guys but obviously this is a mountain tier weapon so it's gonna be a little bit less damage than other weapons especially you know Mistwalker and the Krom those are Mistlands tier weapons so obviously they're gonna do a whole lot more damage and they're gonna kill things faster I don't know, not the best comparison, but I just feel very ill-equipped. And yeah, I no longer have any health potions, so I just take the stamina potion, and I decide at this point, I need to kind of just run away. So... <laughs> That's exactly what I do. And I go to this rock right here and I realize that not all the fuelings and the berserkers were following me. They're getting into fights with these gray dwarfs, which obviously they're gonna take out immediately. No problem, but at least I can stand here for a minute and regain some stamina and health. But look out, these fuelings are no longer distracted. They wanna kill me, but it's not a big deal. They're pretty much alone and I can take care of them pretty effortlessly. After taking care of these guys, it was time once again, after of course a bit of a rest, to re-engage the village which actually was quite empty so I tried to find some more enemies just one fueling at the top of this tower knock him off and follow him and it's pretty easy to just take him out yeah he's slowed it's just a few swipes he's dead but then look who's back it's a returning berserker but yeah it's it's pretty much already dead so no problem good parry couple swipes down for the count I tried to find more fuelings in that village, but they had actually scattered to the edge of this swamp right here. So I, I met them at the swamp, and yeah, it was a, it was kind of a bloodbath. The frosty boy had no trouble with this, uh, except for, of course, stamina. And hey, look, a drogger decides to join the fight. I just, you know, it's, it's no trouble there, no problem whatsoever. And yeah, I just went ahead and killed all these fuelings. They were slowed. It was easy, easy peasy, frosty squeezy. That's a thing, right? God, I'm a fucking idiot. I went ahead and found another village and I was back with a vengeance 
determined to prove that this was an effective weapon against fuelings. And yeah, I, I just I ran to kill this guy because he was. I, it kind of seemed like he was trying to run away. I wasn't gonna let it happen. I was determined. He's my first victim. This guy tried to come up from behind, and we've got a shaman trying to attack me. But I'm confident at this point that I am able to effectively wield this weapon. And yeah, these guys are gonna be no match for me whatsoever. Everything's gonna go perfectly fine. This is my weapon, this is my damn video, it's gonna be perfectly fine. And I will take all of my vengeance, all of my anger out on these fuelings using this one-handed hammer. Hey, Desquito, get out of there, come on, not your video. This weapon, I, I feel like I'm wielding it very effectively as he hits the ground. Wow, good timing on the, on the words, me. Uh, yeah, this shaman needs to go because it's just providing everybody with shields and I'm on fire again. Ah, I, I'm convinced. I feel like I'm convinced. If you do a forward roll while you're on fire, it will definitely, you know, reduce the fire. You know, stop, drop, and roll. It's a thing that we all learned in school, or at least I did. Uh, but... I realize that I, it just seems coincidental. It's not actually a thing in this game. Although, maybe it should be, devs. Hey, if you are on fire and you roll, the fire should go out. Maybe that'd be too easy. It doesn't last too long. I don't know, but I feel like that should be a thing. Maybe it has to be a specific roll. Shaman dead. Let's continue our fight. I did skip a couple kills on fuelings. It was pretty easy, nothing too eventful, but hey, look, this berserker wants to murder me, and yeah, it's gonna go great, of course, because it's totally the only enemy that's trying to attack me. Nope. I mean, easy stagger right there. Once it's only one enemy fighting me, I can pretty easily take it out. So yeah, actually this time it was pretty effortless because I had this little hill right there and it was preventing the shaman from launching magic missiles at me, which is, it was really nice. And yeah, once again, I'm having trouble with the knockback of this weapon. I just feel like I need to be able to put the good old fashioned three swipe in there, but I'm not able to do that because it knocks everything back. And oh, look out, I've got yet another one of these these glorious berserkers on me and it really is just it's determined but it's not just a regular berserker oh no it is something much more look at how much damage it did i had to look back it's a one star berserker i don't remember having ever seen one of these in my original playthrough so i'm a little bit uh, we'll call it scared. Maybe not scared. Uh, yeah, okay, definitely scared. I'm, I'm on fire. I'm at 20 health, 18 health, 13 health, 8 health, and I'm dead. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. I'm back with a super risky, just absolutely stupid, no food rescue mission. Let's just go ahead and eat some food. I don't know why I do this. I'm reckless. I'm an idiot. Let's go ahead and pop our gear on. And yeah, of course, they're still following me, but I've got, hey look, one of these guys over here. I've got a tar pit, and this time, if you watched my previous video, it wasn't intentional to bring them over to it. This time it kind of is, because this thing is a godsend. I need to thin out these enemies. I am not playing around anymore. This is, this is just chaos. And so yeah, I actually do intentionally bring these guys to this tar pit, and it does all the work for me. I'm able to take a little rest, get my gear on, breathe a little bit, and pretty much just watch some carnage. But this berserker right here, this one star, it uh, it didn't go any further into the muck. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it was too deep for it, but it just really couldn't do anything, and so I felt a little bad. So after a few seconds and a couple laughs, I decided to aggro it back to me, and yeah, I needed to finish this guy off. It was already, I don't know, it's a quarter health. I was a coward. I don't care. I don't want to die again. So I just went ahead and took this thing out to the best of my ability. And, you know, as it was walking toward me, I thought this was, you know, coolest little section right here. <laughs> I just get staggered. Uh, but, you know, thumbnail right there. Come on. How can you not look at that and be like, oh, beautiful. Perfection. But yeah, it doesn't last long. The king is dead. Long live the king.
I went ahead and returned to the village to see if there was any stragglers. Of course there was. This shaman needed to go away, and there were a few fuelings left, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Little bit of chaos here and there. I always feel like if I'm on fire, everything is burning around me. It's not just my whole body. I don't know. It really does amp up the situation, but it wasn't a big deal. These guys died pretty effortlessly. And hey, look, another shaman, but hey, this is the only enemy, so not that that big of a problem. With a backswing, I kill its shield, and then, you know, a couple swings, no stamina. But yeah, a couple swings, its body rolls around on the floor. I'm victorious. I'm done. Did we learn anything from this video? Maybe. I don't know. I think the Frosty Boy is a cool weapon, and I think it can be very effective against a multitude of enemies. But I really struggled with it today and I don't really understand why. But I'm done. I don't really think there is a solid conclusion. I had a lot of fun and I had a lot of misery. A Little bit of both. This was a bit of an unhinged, simplistic video, but that's kind of the thing that I was feeling tonight. So if it wasn't completely terrible, let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.